Hi, this is Ms. Saffron, and I am recording this video um, to teach students how to use the website Canva. Um, Canva is an awesome website that you can make uh, infographics, you can make picture collages, you can even make stuff for your Instagram, those that like to post that. Um, and we'll be doing some of that stuff in class. Um, and so this is just a great tool if you have to present something or make uh, something on the computer and you don't want to use PowerPoint or a Word document, this is a little bit more fancier and it is very user friendly. Um, so first thing is I am going to type in Canva, C-A-N-V-A, uh, to my search bar and you're going to go to Canva official site. Now I'm already logged in. Um, you can create a free account using your um, student email provided by KDISD or if you want to provide your own email, that's fine too. It is a free sign up um, where you can get a lot of stuff free um, or if you choose to pay for an annual account, you can get a little bit more stuff. But I like free. Um, I try to stick with the free account so it's awesome. Um, so you can see I've already created a couple designs. Um, one of those I am going to trash because I messed up. But here is one of the designs that I created for our uh, culture show and tell assessment, um, going over the basics of culture and that kind of stuff. Um, so at the top here, it gives you different uh, things that you can design. Um, like for instance, if you wanted to make a presentation or something on social media or just a simple poster, you can do that as well. If you click over here to more, it gives you even more things that you can go through, like how to do a, a letter, or maybe you want to provide like a cover for an ebook, and that would be really cool for like an English class. Um, infographics are really cool. Um, we've used these in social studies before, so you might want to use that. Um, maybe you want to update your Twitter uh, cover photo or your Twitter pages or whatever. Um, you could make that artwork here. So it's really cool. A lot of these have really easy templates that you can just add things into. Um, so that might help you whenever you're creating your collage or whenever you're creating whatever you want to make. Um, so for our purposes, um, we are going to make a collage. And so I'm just finding the collage uh, template that I use. Here we go, photo collage. So you just click on that. It's going to bring you to a template page. Um, and this is really cool because it gives you already layouts however you want to do your collage. Um, it already kind of gives you the fonts and that kind of stuff. And then you just go and fix and add and do whatever you like to do. Um, so we're just going to pick one. Um, here's a really easy looking one. I just double clicked on it. And as you can see on the big screen, it gives me things that I already want, like, um, you know, the font and maybe just how I want it laid out and that kind of stuff. Um, if you want to add different elements, let's say I want to look up some free photos that are already on Canva. Um, let's see, I like raspberries. That's part of my uh, culture. Maybe I eat raspberries every morning or whatever. Um, let's see. Maybe I want to put an illustration, um, like I'm always on time, or I'm a geography teacher, so I, I'm really good at finding my absolute location, so that's part of my um, culture. I'm, you know, really big into that, or maybe, let's see, maybe I like, la la la, ooh. I like world geography, so here's a good little sticker that I can put on there. And all I'm doing is just clicking and dragging and then resizing these photos, um, which is really cool. These are all free. Um, there are some that it will tell you if you need a subscription. And again, for my purposes, um, and maybe yours too, you don't want to spend money on something when you can just get it for free. Um, and that's what I like to do. So I'm going to put that little bubble right there which is really cool. Now let's say you want to change these pictures um, and you want to put your own pictures. If you go over here to uploads, okay, 
You can upload your own picture, maybe something that from the internet or even from Facebook. So yes, you can go onto your Facebook. So here's some um, that I've already kind of picked from my last collage. So let's see, I've done the Iron Man and you can always revamp these pictures. You can even filter them and make them um, more fancy, kind of very similar to uh, Instagram. You can do that. Um, you can crop the pictures if you want. You can flip it. Um, I am actually going to make this a little bit wider so that you can see Iron Man Texas um, because that's the Iron Man that I did in 2013 and I'm very proud of it. Okay, there we go. Um, so that's part of my culture right there. Let's see, here's a good picture of me and my husband that I'm just going to drag and then literally recrop. Um, some of them you can just fill it in, which is pretty cool. Um, so let me go ahead and make that filter. Let's see, I, drama, ooh, that's nice. Um, or how about epic? Epic sounds good. Okay, what if I want to get rid of this summer breaks? That's not really what this assignment is about. I can change the heading if I want and put my culture um, and then put my name, Miss Saffron, you know. Um, or you definitely need to put your name because we need to know who you are. And then maybe culture, show, and tell, um, 2016. Now, if I, obviously your assignment, you do need a little bit more. Um, so if you go over here to text, you can add whatever kind of text you want. So you can add a heading, a subheading, a little body of text, or you can even add like stickers that have text on it, um, even some really cool stuff that already has the font and the color um, that you might want. And of course, you can see where it says free, 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 free. Always go with what is free. That is always nice. Um, so for our purposes, um, I'm just going to just, you know, add a little bit of text that just explains what I'm about. Now you can change the color of the text. You can make it bold. Um, you can change the font. You can even change the uh, size of the text, which is pretty cool, or even, you know, what kind of font you want. So let's see. Let's see what is working for me, what I'm feeling right now. Um, la, la, la. Yeah, Racing Sands 1, that sounds really good. So I'm gonna click that and then I just might type some things. Now for your project or your assessment, it's you're just describing things about your culture. What is part of your ABCs of culture? So I might say I am half Irish and half Polish. I grew up in Houston, Texas from the Southwest side. I <clears throat> attended Texas, Oops. Texas A&M University, I love cupcakes, and running, yes. Um, obviously, you're going to put a little bit more, um, but what's cool is that you can add text wherever, and you can, again, have um, different stickers and all that kind of stuff in there. Uh, so for your project, you do need to add a little bit more than what I put in there, um, but again, it's all about you, and it's about a way that your classmates, and as well as myself, and other people that might be visiting our classroom can learn about you. Um, so let's say I'm okay with this. I do like water. I do like outdoors. So we're going to keep that picture in there. I'm lucky. And I do like raspberries. So that's always good too. Um, but, you know, maybe maybe I want to add one more picture. Let's see. Let's go back up to my menu. Free photos. Um, and I'm just going to find a picture of coffee because I do drink coffee like all day long. Now you can see here where it says a dollar USD, uh, one US dollar. We don't want that. We always want the free version. Um, so this coffee, it actually looks like hot chocolate. Um, that looks really good. So let's just go ahead and use that one. And I'm going to put that right there in that center photo. That's all good. Now, I want to fix the color. I don't like that. It's like this bluish color. So maybe I want to add, let's see, Ooh, retro looks kind of cool. Um, summer sounds good. Ooh, that made that pop. Um, so there's a little bit about me. Now, how to get this saved? 
What's cool about Canva is that it saves automatically, but if you go to File um, and then Save, it'll save it again in your Canva account. So let's say you're not done or you get you are tired or maybe you are sleepy or you you have to do something else, it'll save it automatically on the website. That way you can come back and edit it. But let's say we are done. Um, what's cool is you can share your Canva if you want, if you want to really tweet it out or post it on Facebook because you're proud of your work or you can send it to an email address. Or you can download it, which is really cool. Um, you can download it as an image, um, high quality image, a PDF file, or for print. I always download it as a PDF file, um, that way you can put that on Twitter if you want. Um, or let's say you download it as a PDF file and you get 100 on it and you're just so proud of your work that you want to go back and post it on Twitter and brag to your friends, you can go back into the Canva website and you can do that. Um, so right now it is installing. Um, and of course I can again send my download um, to those social media websites. Um, but it is now saved as a PDF file. Pretty cool. Um, so now I'm just going to save that to my computer. This is actually my second example. So I'm going to save it there. And now it is ready for me to upload as a QR code or maybe if your teacher wants you to send it to them as this uh, PDF file and they're going to organize it into a slideshow. However your teacher wants you to put it in, that's how you need to put it in. So make sure you pay attention to those instructions. But what's cool is that now it's done, it's saved as a PDF file, um, and you can always go back to the Canva website and look at all of your designs that you have created. Um, so here's the first one that I created, and then here is the second one that is it's still waiting to upload. Um, but that way, if I ever want to come back, I can definitely look at it, or if I want to edit it, I can definitely do that too. So there it is again. Um, so that is Canva. Again, super cool tool. Um, if, again, if you want to make other things like infographics, you can make thank you cards, which is really cool, email headers. I know people that have made business cards. So if you're somebody that is running a club and you want to pass out flyers, make sure you get approval first. Uh, but this is a really cool design, a web design that you can use. Um, so thanks for watching. I hope this was helpful. And if you have any questions, you can always swing by my room, uh, 20 or 2007, upstairs um, in the ninth grade center. Um, and I can definitely get you started with Canva or help you out. So have fun creating, um, and I hope you enjoyed watching this tutorial. Thanks. Bye.